Hi, Tony. I see. This really is looking very colourful. Yes, but it's a shame. If you look closely, they're absolutely covered in green fly, these plants. Ah, you want a hose. A little bit of water, wash them away. Oh, good idea. Yeah, I'll try you, it. You see, it doesn't use any chemicals. Oh, right, yeah. It is good. Hello. Welcome to another 25 minutes of Heartbeat. And the theme today is all about insects. Although what exactly insects have to do with black bin liners and yellow dusters, I really don't know. Or perhaps I do. Alison. Oh, my bin liners. Bin liners okay. and yellow dusters. Great. Can you give me a hand? I'd love to. Am I right? Brilliant. Between the gaps. Yes, please. Just about here. Put these down here. Brilliant. Tony, how did you know what I was going to make? Oh, it was obvious, you see. I knew it was a zebra with yellow fever. <laughs> a zebra. Zebra's not an insect. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I suppose you're right. I bet you thought I was going to dust the studio. That's no, why. I thought you were going to ask me to dust the studio. <laughs> Is that about enough in one? Oh, yes, please. And um, can we just put loads more up the middle? Of course. I'll help you put these ones in. Is that about it? Oh, I think just a few on the end here. Right. Because I've got I've got a special bit on here. I'll leave you to it then. Thank you. Thank you. Brilliant. No, I know. Need some of these. And these. No. Got these down. Now these are tights. Old black tights, and I put some cardboard in here put some more black bin liner in it because I thought it would make it good and solid. I think I'll put these on just about here. And perhaps a bit down here. You probably guess what I'm making by now. You probably guess from the stripes that it is a bumblebee. But I decided to make a huge bumblebee because the smaller ones are called the worker bee but the big one's called the queen bee. It's much more fun to do something big, isn't it? So let's have another th another leg on here. Another one on here. Like that. More tight. Put these on here. These are going to be the pink tree claw bits at the bottom. Bottom of the legs. And these on here. I don't think it looks like a zebra anymore. Do you? And some more stuffed ones. There we go. And yeah, that should do over here. Put one on there. Squeeze that bit. One on there. Bend that around. And this is a saucepan lid. Ordinary saucepan lid, so if you can steal one, your mum's. And it would do lovely for an eye. Now, what's missing? I know, a wing. Look at this wonderful paper. It's brilliant. Just makes the right sort of thing for a wing. Let's put this on here. Pop a bit more up like that. Yes. And I think my bees is about ready to um, buzz off. Have you, I wonder, seen one of these? Glitter paint in a tiny little plastic bottle and you pipe it out onto whatever you want to pipe it out on. The best thing, of course, is a dark background. Then it shows up very, very well, like that. Now, this is silver glitter paint, and as it dries, it gets brighter and brighter. And I rather suspect that you have, by now, worked out what it is that I'm making. It's a web, of course, and so many insects get caught in a web. I've even seen wasps 
caught in a spider's web, let alone flies and other tiny little flying insects. But the interesting thing is that the spider is not an insect. He's an arachnida. Got eight legs. We all seem to think, oh, I don't like spiders, horrible insects, but they're not insects. So there we are. We've all learnt something. And I'll just finish off the way in which he weaves his web. And then we'll do something a bit more exciting. There we are. Spider's web piped on there. Now, that, as it dries, gets very hard. Something else happens. The background that I've got here has green ink on the black background. You can see that, can't you? You can see a nice bit of green down there. I'm going to take that away, put this one on, because it's hardened and it's dry now. And if I move it about, it ought to catch the light for you. And we can see very well that it really is a rather lovely thing. Now, it has another advantage. Because it's dry, and we can actually feel it through that flimsy paper, we can make a rubbing, which I shall now proceed to do. You could use any sort of wax crayon to do this, any colour. Black shows up, of course, extremely well. In fact, I'm not using wax crayon. I'm using something called heel ball, which is the stuff you use to make a brass rubbing. It's awfully good and well worth getting hold of a piece, and it will last you for ages and ages. Now I think we'll draw a spider in our web. And he's constructed like this. He would have a little tiny head, and those two little pieces that come there. And because he's not an insect, he doesn't have three parts to his body. He has a head and he has an abdomen, which also acts as a thorax as well. And how many legs does he have? Just so. Well, there are two of them. Now he has four. Coming down, six and eight. And there is our little spider. Will you try using that glitter paint? Um, I think you'll have a great deal of fun with it. <laughs> ¶¶